Art in the Middle Ages, Different Strokes for Different Folks. While the Middle Ages may have been a time for warfare and not much learning, there was still a great deal of art that was created over the course of 1,000 years. Given the power and influence of the Christian church, most of the art figured on focused on religious figures, such as Jesus, his mother Mary, or many of the saints or holy men and women of the church. They were drawn as icons depicting some of their great deeds so that the faithful could try and model their lives by their example. In many ways, the purpose of religious art in the Middle Ages was to tell the stories of the Bible to the people who went to church, primarily because many of them could not read. The Bible itself became a way to express art through a process called illumination. Illuminated manuscripts were books, including but not limited to the Bible, that were written by hand and were decorated and painted. The decorations included fancy lettering of the first letter of each paragraph, fancy borders in the margins of the, each page, or paintings of significant scenes from the book. When it came to the Bible, monks were the ones who were responsible for creating the illumination. The earliest manuscripts were created between 400 and 600 CE. One of the most famous illuminated manuscripts was called the Book of Kells, an example of Celtic art, which contained the four Gospels of the New Testament. The most notable change in the art of the Middle Ages was in architecture, and again, not surprisingly, in the construction of churches. In the early days of the Middle Ages, the Romanesque style was used on most churches. They were called Romanesque churches because they were built with three of the contributions that the Romans made to architecture, the arch, the dome, and bake, baked bricks with the use of cement. This style featured huge doors with sculptures and frescoes, or wall-sized paintings, objects in gold and silver, and textiles. As with the illuminated manuscripts, all of these things were used to explain the stories of the Bible and spread the faith. By the end of the Middle Ages, entire cities banded together to construct a new style of church, the Gothic style. This style featured enormous structures with walls that had far more and larger windows to let in more light. The windows were filled with stained glass that, like the frescoes and tapestries in the Romanesque churches, told the stories of the Bible, but now were enhanced with the light of the sun. Because the walls were now weaker with all the glass in them, there was a need to support a structure that stood over 300 feet tall. The solution was called a flying buttress, which were built outside of the structure of the church, but connected to it by an arm that passed the enormous weight of the stone roof through the arm to the buttress. All of the guilds of the cities joined together to join in the construction of the Gothic cathedral and members of the growing merchant class provided much of the funding for the building of the church, believing that it would bring more worshipers and, therefore, trade to their town. When they finished, the Gothic cathedral stood as lasting monuments both to the faith that inspired them and the artists and architects that built them.